times as we come together for a week of parties, concerts, talks, ideas, and art. For more information, visit tomtomfoundation.org. And now for a live broadcast from the WTJU stage. WTJU's 65th birthday celebration. Let's hear some applause. <laughs> this is our live broadcast event from the stage at WTJU here at our Ivy Road studios. My name is Nathan Moore. I'm the general manager of WTJU here at the University of Virginia. And I'm so glad that you're joining us tonight for this special broadcast. Both the, the few, the proud here in the studio with us at the stage and the many of you listening out there on air, online, on your smart speakers, and perhaps in the future online <laughs> at the archives. Thanks so much to Aryan Balu for producing the documentary that aired in the last hour. Special thanks also to Nick Rubin for selecting the music on that one. I want to start off this evening's celebration with a little story. It was back in 2019 in the halcyon days just before the pandemic. WTJU hosted another live broadcast event in this very room. There was a lineup of live music, of spoken word, and testimonials. It was the, mem the memorial broadcast for musician, poet, and WTJU alum, David Berman. This room was filled with people who loved David and who loved WTJU, and we almost certainly exceeded the fire code capacity. Uh, don't tell anybody I said that. It's one thing to know in my head that WTJU is a special place, to know that excellent music comes out of this FM transmitter, to know that thousands of people have made that happen over the years, but it's a whole other thing to feel it to feel it and experience a moment of connection and caring, to feel and be surrounded by people who care about each other and to be part of the love that just engulfs this place when people feel like they're heard and understood, when they feel like they belong, and when they feel like they're home. And somehow, I have the honor of shepherding this place, of keeping the gears of WTJU turning and making it feel like home for the next generations. And as I do my job, I'm reminded over and over and over that WTJU exists because of you. This station has existed for 65 years because of you and people like you. So if you've ever hosted a show, if you've ever donated, if you've ever listened and felt something, felt connected to the music, felt connected to the people, to this community, then you are why this radio station exists. So thank you for being a part of this live broadcast this evening. It means a lot to me that you're tuned in, and it's going to be a fantastic celebration. We have a special lineup of live performances tonight. They feature music and artists from all four of WTJU's music departments, with the actual musicians being people from our, our core of hosts. So here uh, in the next hour, the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to hear from New Boss, which includes WTJU DJs Nick Rubin and Jordan Perry and some other great members. In front of that, we're going to hear a folk trio of Pete Marshall, Ryan Marley Grant, Andy McLeod, plus our own Bill Adams on blues guitar. But to start things off tonight, I'm excited to introduce a classical piano performance. WTJU classical announcers Chelsea Holt and Matt Fritz have a four-hands piano please to share with us. And uh, Chelsea and Matt, welcome and, and tell us, what are you going to be playing? Thank you. Yeah, we're going to be playing uh, Maurice Ravel's Bolero. And um, you may know that that's his most famous composition. And he originally wrote it in 1928 um, as an orchestral work that was intended to be a ballet. Um, and it was commissioned for the dancer Ida Rubinstein, who incidentally was born in Kharkiv in Ukraine. Um, so Ravel based Bolero on the musical form and Spanish dance by the same name. And he later wrote arrangements for Bolero for two pianos and piano four hands, which means two people at one piano, uh, which is what Chelsea and I are going to be playing tonight. So the backbone of Bolero is the steady ostinato rhythm that's played 169 times on a snare drum. And then layered on top of that unchanging rhythm are a couple of alternating melodies that in the orchestral version are passed among the different instruments. And then the piano version kind of imitates those instruments a bit. And the layering of tones and harmonies and keys gives Bolero this otherworldly kind of feel. And in fact, some evidence suggests that the main theme is adapted from a melody that was composed for and used in Sufi mystical training that Ravel encountered during a trip to Tunisia. Uh, while others say that the theme just came to him while he was on vacation in southern France. But whatever its origins, the theme is repeated inexorably 17 times in a slow, continuous crescendo toward a dissonant crash landing at the end. 
And last thing I'll say is that um, Ravel was adamant that the tempo of Bolero not be rushed. Um, so we followed the tempo that Ravel chose in his own recording in 1930, which might be a little bit slower than you're used to hearing. It also might be worth mentioning that you will hear this on an electric piano tonight. Traditional classical performances feature the use of an acoustic piano, which gives you uh, a lot more as a player and a listener. It's built with strings and hammers and three pedals that gives you playability with uh, opportunities to focus on tone and dynamic range. Hard to mimic uh, when you are on an electric piano. So learning this on this particular instrument has been a bit of an experience and an experiment, but we're here to have fun. All right, well, I'm looking yeah. forward to the crash landing in particular. <laughs> uh, thanks, Matt and Chelsea. Please take it away.
Chelsea Holt and Matt Fritz performing live from the WTJU stage as part of our 65th birthday celebration. Thank you so much for that. And let's hear it one more time. Just keep the applause going one more time. <laughs> Tell us, how did you all get involved with classical programming on, on WTJU? Sure. Do you want me to go? Ahead. Yeah. I was bored, and I wanted to share my love of classical music with everyone. In boredom a fun is way. a great motivator sometimes. We are the anti boredom here at TJU. Yeah. Uh, Matt, how did you plug in? Well, you know, I was teaching a yoga class, and a couple of my students said, Wow, you have a great radio voice. Uh, have you ever done radio? It's like, No, I've never done radio. And then it just planted uh, something in the back of my brain that blossomed with Andrew Morgan reaching out to me to see if I wanted to be an announcer. Yeah, current classical director. That's great. That's great. So you all have both been involved with WTGU for a couple of years. Matt, you a little longer. What, what makes classical programming on this station special to you? Well, it's so malleable. Classical music spans ages, so you can take anywhere, go any number of directions with it. So that's one of the things I love is that no two shows are ever the same. Yeah, yeah, I would echo that, and and the ability to choose which uh, works we want to play, uh, you know, is really a special thing about TJU. That is a, a really uh, a signature element of our programming. Is the hosts really are in charge of their own shows? There's, there's. When I give tours of the station, I always say there's really like three things that make us pretty unusual. Uh, one is that all the hosts on the air are volunteers. Another is that we don't have like set playlists that people have to follow. It's you know really host choice, and and it's about sharing a passion and love of music in a way that 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 is a creative experience that that brings people together. Um, and that's that's one of the my favorite parts. The third thing that makes it unusual is that we are so multi-genre. Uh, and so, uh, much like our average broadcast day, we started off tonight's broadcast with classical, and then we're moving into other genres <laughs> as the uh, as the show goes on. But um, tell us, as you think back on on your hosting at, at TJU, what are some of your most memorable shows or memorable experiences at the station? My first time doing the marathon, which was actually this past marathon, Jay Jackson and I were like the resident new people, and we got to do this show called Chaotic Energy full of all of the things that we would want to program at 7 a.m., but probably wouldn't to be kind. So that was my favorite show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think um, mine was a marathon moment as, as well. I, I knew nothing about radio when I came on board, so uh, it took me forever to be able to put together a playlist. But, you know, tonight is, is really the, the best memory so far, and it was just really meaningful to bring a work like Bolero that has a theme of unity because it was featured in two Olympics. You know, Torval and Dean skated to it, in 84, I believe, and then played at the Tokyo Olympics. So in our world, which has so much divisiveness now, to play a work that promotes unity, uh, oh. really special. A way to bring it home. That's great. That's great. Thank you. Matt and Chelsea, one more time. Uh, Matt Fritz, Chelsea Holt. <laughs> and thanks for all of you for helping us celebrate 65 years of WTJU. Tuning in tonight online at WTJU.net, on your radio at 91.1 FM, or on your smart speaker, whatever you might use to listen to us. The important thing is that you're there and you're tuned in. And for everybody listening tonight, I want to let you know, too, that in June, we're going to do some in-person celebrations of WTJU's birthday. This is not just a one-night affair. Uh, during those first two weekends in June, we're going to have open houses and station tours and, of course, more live music, plus a special celebration dinner at the uh, Italian place next door. You can check out all the details and register at WTJU.net slash WTJU65. Well, hey, it looks like we've got Pete, Ryan, and Andy up here, so let's uh, keep the celebration going. Uh, what tune are y'all going to start off with this evening? We're going to start off. We're going to start off with a, a, a tune from Virginia, from um, Hobart Smith. All right, take it away. For the last chance. <laughs>
to uh, Randy McLeod on the banjo there. Thank you. Also known as Cruel Willie. That's true. <laughs> uh, this next tune that we're going to play is called Marcha de Golfo. Uh, it's a Portuguese fiddle tune by way of Cape Verde. Um, you can hear a lot of different regional stuff going on in it, though. Say that maybe the first time a uh, Portuguese Cape Verdean tune has ever been played at W2JU live on stage. That'd be my guess. Dang. <laughs> Thanks to Andy for introducing us to that oh, yeah. tune. By way of Chris Donadar, by way of Henry Bollock, uh, noted uh, tune collector and recording connoisseur. He would crack up if you heard me call him that. Andy switching to guitar here. Yeah. On the bass is Ryan Marley Grant, Woo. one of one of the hosts <laughs> of Back Up and Push. Yep. A little rearranging here. And if you've been a long time listener, you're probably familiar with Pete. This one <coughs> comes 
Well, it's an old jazz tune. Uh, the the version I'm playing comes from John Fahey, but it goes way back. It's called Old Fashioned Love. Thank you. Uh, All right, the next tune we're going to play is actually a tune from Ukraine. And um, we learned this tune from, or I learned this tune from Peter Ostrushko, who is a Ukrainian American musician, passed away last year. Um, he was a, an idol to mandolin players all over the country. Um, used to play this a lot with Mando Mafia. It's a tune called Mitalizia.
switch back to fiddle now and we're going to play um, a medley of tunes the first one is a tune that comes from Henry Reed yeah. fiddle tune and then after that Uncle Charlie Barnett Lowe's tune yeah uh, the copper pole sort of a version of uh, the sort of old going across the sea there's a uh, you know a uh, bunch of different versions of it this one is a little different in that it's an instrumental.
Thank you. All right, let's hear it one more time for Pete Marshall, Ryan Marley Grant, and Andy McLeod. Thank, Thank you. you so, so much for joining us this evening. I want to just uh, ask a few questions here while we're, while we're swapping out sets, getting ready for the next act. It's uh, going to be a blues act coming up here in just a moment. But uh, Pete, uh, you in particular, how, how long have you been involved at WTJU, Pete? I think I've been involved for 30 years. 30 years, all hosting yeah. Sunset Road? No, um, I started off on Atlantic Weekly, part two. Yeah. We were there for a while and then moved over to Sunset Road mm -hmm. when the opportunity arose. What, uh, what got you involved with the station? Well, back then, um, Fred Boyce was the uh, folk director at WTJU, and um, he would have these... Um, giveaways where you had to answer a question right to get the, the giveaway and I kept on calling up w you know winning tickets and LPs and stuff and Fred said you should be on the radio instead of listening to the radio and so he <laughs> threw me in at the deep end and and you're, you've been swimming in the deep end ever since. Been swimming in the deep end ever since. You know, it's a it's a funny coincidence, Pete. I um like today is uh, actually two anniversaries in a sense. One is WTJU's 65th anniversary. Uh, the other is today is actually also my 11th anniversary as the manager of this place, um, which is kind of a, I, that wasn't hey. a <laughs> thanks all that wasn't actually a, 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 a going for applause, but that's okay. Um, no, the reason I bring it up with you, Pete, I don't know if I ever told you this, but your show, Sunset Road, was the first show I ever heard after I'd been hired as the oh. manager. And it was the Friday before I started, and I was, I was cresting the Blue Ridge and driving over the, the mountain, coming down 64, and it's the first place I could get 91.1 FM, and, and there's Pete Marshall's mellifluous voice. And that was before we were broadcasting on the web. Uh, we, you know, you were on the web, just barely, though, oh. only for a few months at that point. I yeah. want to give a big shout out to Pete Yadlowski. Yeah, web presence. Absolutely. Uh, since we're talking about Pete, Pete Yadlowski is our—he uh, likes to call himself the IT grease monkey, um, but uh, he does all things tech he, from from his um, uh, setting up our, our web stream, you know, over a decade ago to uh, all the tech systems he's built behind the scenes and so on. Um, even today and now, he's uh, he's doing all kinds of tech things for us on the back end. Uh, also, a quick shout out also to our audio tech crew tonight, uh, and I'll thank them more later. But the audio video team here is just phenomenal. It, if you're only listening on the radio, you can't see all the, the, the busy work that's happening with people running around and carrying gear and moving pianos and all the things that make this show run with four bands in two hours. It's pretty phenomenal. Um, Pete, tell me, what are some of your favorite WTGU memories? If you were going to, most memorable show or, I don't know, something that stands out over the years. Oh boy, listening to Professor Bebop. Yeah. And getting sucked into his jive talk. <laughs> and um, the bartender's bar. Yeah, Tom Morgan. Sure. So many great shows. All the uh, Prism Coffee House broadcasts mm -hmm. back in the day when when it was on Rugby Road and broadcasting live from the Prism. Mm -hmm. and, um, and also having so many um, artists come on my show and, and uh, perform live on my show. Yeah. It's been it's funny. It's really not Phenomenal. just. It's not just one one moment. It's a whole uh, accumulation of lots and lots of moments, isn't it? Yeah, and and it all adds up to this this community of music lovers and and people who seek out music experiences and and are brought together by this station and and by hosts like you, Pete. Thank you. Yeah. I I want to give a shout out to Zoe Krillaba too. Mm -hmm. For um, absolutely, Zoe is uh, spearheading this whole event. Yeah, she's our event planner and organizer. Thank you, Zoe, and. Uh, um, we're lo so lucky to have everybody who's here, uh, all the hosts, all the staff, um, but uh, tonight also you, Pete, uh, and, and also Ryan and Andy, who've been sharing music and making memories with WTJU for a really long time. And out there, you, I want to thank you for listening. We are honored to be a part of your day and evening and to share this broadcast with our community. So up next, we've got another longtime WTJU DJ. It's Bill Adams. He hosts Walk and Blues on Sunday nights. And he's here to play a few tunes with us uh, for us here on WTJU Charlottesville. Bill, thanks so much. Hello. Uh, You're welcome. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you take it away? I'll do that. Start off with a, uh, a Mississippi Delta Blues by a guy named Tommy Johnson called uh, Sliding Delta.
Well, Delta Sly's done been here and gone. Yeah, the Delta Slide, baby, is done, been here and gone. Well, get me out of Delta, baby, for the water's right. Get me out of the Delta before the water's right. If I don't get drowned, well, I'm sure not gonna lose my mind. Crying, Lord, 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 Lord. Crying, Lord, I wonder what I'll do. I can't do nothing but hang my head and cry. Oh, baby, when I leave, I ain't coming here no more. Baby, when I leave, I ain't coming here no more. I'm going away, baby, and I'm worrying you off my mind. Crying, Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord, crying, Lord, I wonders to myself. You know I wonders and I wonders to myself. Thank you. Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse today, but uh, we can get through it. Uh, this next one, I'm going to jump into with both feet. Uh, this was popularized in the 1930s by um, trombonist and vocalist Jack Teagarden. And um, uh, it's a really wonderful song uh, and a nod to... Um, Names always escape me, but uh, jazz at a hundred. Um, Russ Perry, thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this song is a hundred years from today, and uh, it was written not quite a hundred years ago. But anyhow, um, Jack T. Garden's great niece, I think, is a good friend of ours, Alice, and I know this song means a lot to her. So I just wanted to put this out there for Alice out in California. Mm -hmm, life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have the chords for the first verse, but I'll just uh, take it. Life is but a great adventure. Learn to live as you go. No one in the world can censure what we do here below. That's not even the right song. I, I, I'm just... Don't... Here we go. Don't save your kisses, pass them around. You'll find my reason is logically sound. 
Who's gonna know that you pass them around a hundred years from today? Why crave a penthouse fit for a queen? Your mirror heaven on mother's screen. some country blues. Um, a number by Black Lemon, uh, Blind Lemon Jefferson, who was, uh, lived in eastern Texas, and was a wonderful songwriter. And I always like his songs because they're like time machines, you know. Uh, I should say time-space machines. But they take you, they always take me back uh, to a time I never lived before my time. They just remind me of, they just paint pictures of the West somehow. Uh, so anyhow, this is uh, called Black Horse Blues. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll go get my black horse and saddle up my gray mare. We'll go get my black horse and saddle up my gray mare. I'm going out to my good gal, she's in the world somewhere. a combination of uh, artists here. Uh, Robert Johnson wrote this song. Uh, it's called, um, what is it called? It's called uh, Kind Hearted Woman. And uh, Muddy Waters also recorded it. So I'm going to do a mishmash of how they both performed it and cover two bases at once here. <laughs> She'll do anything in this world for me. Got a kind old woman. She'll do anything in this world for me. It's worried about you, baby, and my heart begins to break. Oh, baby, my life don't feel the same. Breaks my heart when you call me Mr. So-and-so's name. I've got a kind-hearted woman. She studies evil all the time. Kill me as the habit on your mind. Uh, how old are you fix your time? One more?
train of ride, sixteen coaches long. Train, train, sixteen coaches long. Well, it took my baby away from me and gone. Train, train, rolling round the beam. Train, train, rolling round the beam. Oh, well, it took my baby away from me. Went down to the station, meet my baby at the gate. I asked the station master if my train was running late. I said, Are you waiting for that 444? I hate to tell you, son, that train don't stop here anymore. Train, train, rolling round the bend. Train, train. baby away from me again mystery train Bill Adams, Bill Adams here on the WTJU 65th birthday celebration here on 91.1 FM, WTJU.net, and on smart speakers all around the world and in your own living room. Bill, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Glad to. Let's do one more round of applause for Bill. <laughs> Bill, how'd you get involved in, in WTJU? When did, you, when did you come over to the station? Well, um, I moved into town in the early 90s. Uh, of course, after hearing uh, Professor Bebop on a late night broadcast, I, I have to get closer to that radio station. <laughs> we might further up in the <laughs> out in the counties, but um, anyhow, uh, I kind of made a splash as a Piedmont blues picker and got involved with um, the old time Pete, the old time music scene. Got to know Pete Marshall uh, and and several others. Um, Let's see, at the time, uh, ben, ben Voorhees was, uh, um, I guess, uh, well, he had uh, Leftover Biscuits. He, he was the founder of Leftover Biscuits and had been at it for several years. And uh, um, there was also a late night blues program that was kind of languishing at one o'clock. And uh, so Fred Boyce, who was, uh, the folk director at the time uh, asked me if I'd be interested in, in picking up those shows. And uh, of course, I didn't know anything about radio from the inside, but uh, <laughs> I said, sure. And I just started coming in in the mornings and uh, uh, hanging out with Ben and watching him do yeah. his work and took over the show at 1 o'clock. And that was kind of the start of it all. That's it was the start, about 95 David. or 96. Everything else is history going on, yeah. uh, coming up on three decades. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we've, we've mentioned uh, Professor Bebop a couple times now. You did, and then Pete Marshall a moment ago. And Professor Bebop is Dave Rogers, who next year celebrates his 50th year of broadcasting here on WTJU, which is it's truly amazing. Remarkable. It really <laughs> is. It really is. Um, well, I want to just mention a couple announcements. We've got another band coming up to, to round out our two-hour special broadcast tonight. But before we get uh, a little more chatting with Bill, um, just a quick mention that WTJU is supported by Potter's Craft Cider. In fact, there's some in the uh, 
stage area right now. <laughs> uh, the Potter's Craft Cider Tasting Room is just minutes south of Charlottesville, featuring craft cider, live music, and local food trucks every weekend. Potter's also offers home delivery to Richmond and Charlottesville. And for more, you can visit potterscraftcider.com. WTGU is also pleased to announce that the Tom Tom Festival is back. The 10th annual Tom Tom returns April 20th to 24th. The focus this year is our community. You can come together with neighbors and new friends to envision tomorrow's Charlottesville as we come together for a week of parties, concerts, talks, ideas, and art. For more information, tomtomfoundation.org. Well, and again, this is uh, WTJU's 65th birthday celebration here on 91.1 FM on WTJU Charlottesville. It's been quite a night so far, and we are not done yet. Uh, I want to let you know that... Um, Coming up this June, though, uh, the, the birthday celebration tonight is the night of the actual birthday, the actual celebration. 65 years ago tonight is when WTJ actually did start broadcasting uh, in Charlottesville. But the birthday celebrations don't end. Uh, and so all this year we're celebrating, including this June, we're going to, you are warmly invited to come be a part of WTJU's in-person birthday celebrations. That's over the first two weekends in June. We're going to have open houses, station tours, live music and a special celebration dinner over at Vivace next door. Uh, and the next band hopefully doesn't interrupt the dinners over there too much because it's a rock band. <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, check out all the details about our June celebrations, and you can register over at WTJU.net slash WTJU65. All right, we got a new boss on the stage. And uh, on the keys is our own DJ and rock director emeritus Nick Rubin. Uh, Nick, just to kind of kick us off here, um, uh, you're a scholar of college and community radio. What, why is it important to sustain college and community radio these days? Oh, man. Uh, it's sort of like asking uh, why we need restaurants besides fast food restaurants. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. The uh, commercial radio scape is kind of dismal <laughs> and sort of, you know, cookie cutter. You know what you're getting everywhere around the country. And there's a place for that. But... Uh, College and com community radio is where you have, you know, the the local flavor and comes from comes from the DJs, but it also comes from the community that it's within. And and also like with this extending the metaphor a little bit, um, if a if a restaurant is buying from produce from local producers, that's so, sort of also what college radio stations do. We um, just the way that restaurants enable those producers to thrive and survive, um, college and community radio stations play music that it's not just cool music that you haven't heard, but it, it allows those bands and those styles of music to be heard and tour and, and, uh, and, and you know, um, and thrive. Yeah. So th that's part of it. And anybody who heard the, uh, the awesome one hour uh, retrospective at six o'clock knows that uh, a radio station is a is a community, um, and it's not just a community internally, but it's part. It's you know like it's a nexus of a larger community where you know different participants in the music scene can come together and uh, meet each other, and it's it's um, and it, and it's also especially with with college stations, you know, it's a lot of times it's people's you know college experience. Yeah. Um, so it means a lot to a lot of people, and it'd be a shame if it disappeared. So, well, it didn't going to disappear, and I'm I'm really glad that uh, y'all have harvested some local flavors here to borrow your metaphor. Nicely done. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna set the palate, uh, set the plate right now. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. Turn it over. I, I almost I have to say like I had to. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Resist making an April Fool's joke when you asked me that question, and I was like. This isn't the place for an April Fool's joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, so anyway, I... Uh, I'm glad somebody brought mirth to the table. Yeah, there we go. The no, table. I do, though. <laughs> I do want to turn it over here. Uh, the celebration continues right now with New Boss. Thank you. In the winter or the spring, you can laugh 
Take a little more too, if pause, if pause, if pause for the boss. That's fine. If pause for the boss. Good night. What if the kids don't like me? People riding on bikes, the camera tilts up. Take a breath. What were we shooting at? Boxes and cans. Take a breath. Three white ladies went out to the country. I showed them the ropes. I showed them the boats. They couldn't decide to be out or inside. But if they wanted to be alone or together, I can't take the lead. 
Cause my hands are always shaking And he's coming down the street What if the kids don't like me? I got the gooder from the cow He didn't know what he had Just take a breath When I find my friends Will I be a grown-up then? When I find my friends Ooh When I'm up there, there I get stuck there, there I get lonely One brown hound escaped from the town Spent her golden hour digging holes in the ground Three white ladies went back to the city And who even knows if they knew they were lucky Thank you. Thank you. Is there a tambourine in the house? Right there. come together and it couldn't be weirder close the curtains consider a style pull it all out leave it in a pile she just knows what it looks like on what it looks like on with it. Those off-black jeans with the snug, snug fit. Saddle-bred colors you just wouldn't think. There's purple and tan, green and pink. He just knows what it looks like on. Yeah, what it looks like on. Ah, oh, can you believe the lady in red? Red shirt, red skirt, red hat on her head. Fifth Street by the mulberry tree. Red hat, red jacket, big gold chain, red socks, red shoes. Oh man, she's calling my name. My sweater looks vanilla from afar, but up close. Man, it's 17 incredible colors. I'm grabbing my phone, scrolling the events. I'm just looking for a good excuse to wear red. I just know what it looks like on. Yeah, what it looks like on. Ooh, what it looks like on. Like on. When she got off the ship and made it all the way to Chapel Hill Went to the Weaver to pick up her tea And then went next door to get all her pills And Fritos and Play-Doh Said I'll see you 
Moving right along. Mm -hmm. You got your shaggy parasol, a dirt. Psychologists um, out there taking Josh, shelter. Um, 
it might be it might be worth mentioning that uh, pretty much everybody on stage has some connection to the radio station uh, to my left and your right. Uh, this is Jordan of World Turning and uh, Deadbeat Club, <laughs> also. <laughs> and um, I, the, our drummer Parker has been on the station. He's been a guest as a, a DJ old break <laughs> and <laughs> Do Dr. Acula, which looks good on the page. Um, <laughs> and um, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. And our bass player, Scott Ritchie, a, a, a former uh, rock director and Ooh. DJ and yeah. rock marathon t-shirt designer. Yeah. Somebody might have it. The computer, right? Um, Thomas Dean's also designed numerous T-shirts for the for the Rock Marathon, and physically printed them himself. Indeed. And and Devin's probably played on the station. I don't know more times than she can count. For when I was a baby. A wee lass. And and her uh, stepmom's on. Yeah, I get to guest DJ with uh, Ani, with Annie. Ani de Blanco. Ani de Blanco. And we're going to do a, a Perfectly Piano, I think, in a couple weeks. For the Rock Marathon. On the 40th. What? Whoa. <laughs> uh, this song is actually a brand new single. I believe that it dropped today on Bandcamp. And, uh, and uh, this is the one that, um, that we had lyrical help with, no? Yes. From someone who's in the house. Zoe Kralova wrote some of the lyrics on here. Zoe's done a lot tonight. Awesome. Mean yeah. walk. A round of applause for Zoe. Lyrics. <laughs> a lot of logistics. Thank you, Zoe. Go, Zoe. Oh, it's called Frantic. <laughs> Thank you. 
but here's a little window. Pansies in the boxes, tantrums in public, amps up at the pony.
Y'all know this this uh, building used to be a video store. Ooh. That song was about a a movie that like if you had gone upstairs and asked a really cool person at the desk for a recommendation. Even if they were reading a book downstairs, it's still upstairs. Right. Yeah. They might have recommended. Yeah. That song's about Heart of Glass by Werner Herzog. Ooh. And uh, isn't that by Blondie? Yeah, it's Not it's Werner Herzog. The Heart of Glass Who's is Werner the movie Herzog? by Blondie, directed by bad. Werner Herzog. Okay. And Popol Vuh. Okay. <laughs> Tell me your uh, <laughs> Tell me your Say what? Tell me your Are you from here? Yeah. Thanks for sticking around, y'all. We, we were sure everybody would be at the bar next door by, by this time <laughs> in our set, but I can't see they, they might all be gone. <laughs> yeah, right. We've got this very sexy light in front of us and we're all distracted. It kind of looks like the leg lamp from uh, yeah. the Christmas story. <laughs> or it came out of the Burger King arms. Right. Yeah. 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 Someone won that as a prize, and it was Fred Gila. We could go to the graduate housing, get some weird books and swing on their swings. Go in the woods and feed the mosquitoes. Is it a robin or is it a star? I'll take you anywhere As long as when you get home you will sleep At least two hours Preferably three We could go to the road where you get out of the stroller Say good morning to the old man who smells like dough Be carefully next to the poison ivy Maybe see Coda coming home from the show I'll take you anywhere Please just eat something green I'm not trying to be me I love your company Ah, oh, but I'm getting ready to breathe We could go to the little bookstore Right on sham, knocking over the shack Carry on looking for goats and chickens After the flood, I wonder I'll take you to the pool I'll take you to the moon Whenever it ever be cool What are we going to do? Devin Sproul. Thank you, Devin Sproul. Oh, okay. Song about raising them youngins. got one song in 12 minutes somehow. You mean the song we haven't rehearsed in like yeah. all year? Yeah. I'm getting their hopes down. So maybe. <laughs> you know how it goes. Is that one of ours? Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. That sounds great. Legs down in front of a motorcade with an understatement. Scurry downtown to the meeting place to find it in the basement. Reach over, shoot. And the slave won't be waiting at arm's length for the practices out, the practices out, the practices out in the dance, the practices out in the dance is moving on the walls, bringing in the blood back. It's moving over all us, feeling in the old ass. Should be a pleasant greeting you with 
Song, so we're going to play one that we've never played before. That's not true. We haven't played it for a while. When it was just warm enough, I cast out for the brown trout. I went all the way out of I took my shirt off I felt the sun sauce I heard the sail fly Ooh, I saw the waves cast Ooh, I let the rope bow Thank you. 
That's it? All right. <laughs> Just want to make sure you guys no, didn't have an more. encore. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, let's give it up for New Boss one more time. <laughs> as Nathan uh, forgets to look at the clock as the clock winds down toward 9 o'clock. Hey, thank you so much to all of our performers tonight. New Boss, Bill Adams, Pete Marshall, Ryan Marley Grant, Andy McLeod, Chelsea Holt, and Matt Fritz. Give it a round of applause for everybody there. Oh, I love that the drummer's still with us, too. That's fantastic. Special thanks to Zoe Kralova for organizing the event details and securing the cupcakes. I know those of you listening can't taste the cupcakes. That is your loss. <laughs> uh, hey, also, thanks so, so much to the best tech crew a radio station could ever want. Mary Garner McGee, Lewis Reining, pa <laughs> Paige Waterhouse, and Tyler Wigand. I cannot sing your praises enough. It was like watching a, a machine working in, in amazing clockwork tonight, just the moving parts and, and all the things that were lined up. It was fantastic. Thank you so much. And thank you to all the staff and volunteers and donors. Thank you to the donors who are here tonight as well. And also thanks to you, our listeners, to WTJU. You're the heart and soul of this community radio station. You are the community that makes community radio possible. I know that sounds like a, a pledge drive pitch, but it's actually real. Um, once again, just a quick announcement coming up this June. Come be a part of WTJU's in-person birthday celebrations. That's the first two weekends in June. We're going to have open houses, station tours, more live music, of course, and a special celebration dinner. I think I heard a cork pop just now. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you can check out all those details at WTJU.net slash WTJU65. Thank you so much to everybody for being a part of WTJU Charlottesville for 65 years. You can stay tuned now for Nothing But The Blues. Peter's upstairs. Take it away. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs>